Sign law applications. Question 2. A 6 meter tree is leaning 5 degrees from the vertical. To prevent it from leaning any further, a stake is fastened 1 meter from the top of the tree at an angle of 72 degrees with the ground. How far from the base of the tree to the nearest meter must the stake be? Okay, So that is our question. So first thing is we need to sketch a figure which reflects the situation, right? So let's say that is our ground and uh, let's say this is the vertical line, okay? Now the tree is leaning at an angle of 5 degrees. So 5 is like very close to this. So let's draw 5 degrees kind of like this. So that's our tree, okay? The length of the tree is given to us as 6 meters. So the total length is 6 meters. So it says a 6 meter tree is leaning 5 degrees. So this angle is 5 degrees. So let me write this as 5 degrees is this angle, okay, <coughs> from the vertical. To prevent it from leaning any further, a stake is fastened 1 meter from the top. So that means we'll fasten something from here and let's say this is 1 meter and at this angle like this correct so so this is six meters so that is this is one for us and this length will become five for us is that okay so that length becomes five plus one is six and that is the tree top correct let me label this as t here right and that's my base of the tree b here right and then this stake let's say this point is c for us now to prevent it from leaning any further, a stake is fastened 1 meter from the top of the tree at an angle of 72 degrees with the ground. That means this angle is 72 degrees. Correct? How far from the base of the tree to the nearest meter must the stake be? That means we need to find what BC is, right? So that is what we are interested in finding. So that is the situation, correct? Now, so this is a triangle which is not a right triangle since it is leaning at a 5 degrees angle. So this angle is what? This could have been 90 but it is 5 less, correct? So that is how you can see this angle as. So, so this angle is 85 degrees for us, correct? So let me write this as 85 degrees is this angle. Uh, let me use a light color so that I don't really smudge it so much. So that angle is 85 degrees for us correct so first thing is in our triangle when we have two angles effectively we have all the three angles correct so what is that angle is equals to so that angle let me say angle btc that is better to write right angle btc is equals to 180 minus 72 minus 85 so that is the angle which is right on the top of it. So let's calculate this using calculator. So we have 180 minus 72 minus 85 equals to 23 degrees. Okay, so we get this as 23 degrees. So this angle is 23. So we know three angles and we also know the side opposite. Uh, let me call this point and let me name this point as A here, right? So that is also known to us. We know AB is equals to 6 minus 1 which is 5 meters, correct? Because the tree was, tree is 6 meter and we have put this 1 meter from the top. So, so that means we know the opposite side. Now since we know the opposite side, we can always find this side. So we'll say, well, what is BC equals to? So BC over angle opposite to BC is angle BTC, right? So we'll say sine of 23 is equal to the known side is this length. This length is 5. 5 over the known angle opposite to it is 72. So 5 over 7, sine of 72. That is it. Now 5 over sine of 72 is a constant, right? So that constant times sine 23, that is an angle, right? will give me BC, correct? So we have BC, that length which we need to find is equals to 
5 over sine of 72 degrees times sine of 23 degrees and then we can use calculator again find our answer so we get what we get 5 divided by sine of 72 and then we'll multiply this by sine of 23 and we get our result as 2.0541 2.0541 and we have to round this to how much to the nearest meter right so that means this is equals to 2 meters right so point C should be 2 meters away so that is our answer so the answer is how far from the base of the tree the nearest meter must the stake be right so this stake must be 2 meters from base okay from base so that is how you are going to solve this kind of problem okay i hope you understand the most important thing here is to draw a neat sketch label it find all the angles and then apply your formulas and get the answer correct thank you